What's going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Today is the day we actually get to put the new seeds inside the Z. So while we're waiting for the brackets to arrive, what we're going to do is remove the old seeds and play the game of what is stuck underneath these seeds and see if there's like some quarters or something, you know, that we can uh, recoup our losses with how much money we've put into the Z. So let's get started on removing the seats while we wait for the seat brackets to arrive from FedEx, which always takes forever. So at least we can stay busy. So just to make life a little bit easier, we're gonna take the T-tops off the car. It'll help with a little bit more room to pull these seats out as well as maneuver all the new seats around. So let's go ahead and take those out. So we're gonna start here on the passenger side where he scooted the seat forward and as you can see right down here there, there are two nuts along the brackets right here that we have to undo. So we're gonna go ahead and undo those and these are 14 millimeter nuts. Yep. So let's go ahead and get those undone real quick. So now we're on the front side of the seat and once again there's two more 14 millimeter bolts right here and then right here and then the seat should be good to come out. So now it's time to undo those. Stock seat's heavy. So this is what's underneath the seat. Obviously just a lot of dirt, some of the old leather flakes, some glass, which makes me think that a window was broken out of here at one point. Maybe someone tries to take something out of it or what, but uh, now let's vacuum all this out. So now that we have all that vacuumed out, I just want to point out one thing, that there is this little clip installed, and this is to the uh, seatbelt warning light that runs underneath the seat here. You see the wire along here, all the way, and then connects into the seatbelt itself, the latch. And we're gonna take this latch off now, and we're gonna set off to the side, because this is gonna go back onto the new bracket for the car. So now we're removing the back seat right here, or sorry, the driver's side seat, the back two bolts. And out come the front two bolts. So right now we're getting stuck up on this little power cord right here that hooks up to the motors for the seat to make it scoot back and forth and tilt and whatnot. It's a little bit of a pain to get off, so have a little patience with it. So I'd just like to point out how heavy the driver's side seat actually is. If you don't have a T-top, it's gonna be much harder to remove, but that's a very heavy seat, at least 60 pounds, and if you're kind of a smaller guy, make sure you have someone around to help you. Um, yeah, that, that, that's a heavy thing. And the wires. Oh yeah, and the wires, which I showed you in the previous clip. Make sure to undo those two wires. One is for the uh, safety belt latch. The other one is for the power that goes to the motors. So while we've been waiting here for the UPS truck, we were setting everything out, making sure everything is good to go. So as soon as we get the brackets, we can test fit them, make sure they fit in the car, and then start assembling the whole seat assembly. And uh, my dad caught this, is that the bolts that bolt the sliders to the bottom of the seat, I thought that this kit came with another bag full of bolts. I could have misplaced it, it could have been on me, but we can't find them. 
and the bolts that are on the bottom of the stock seats fit perfectly into these ones so always make sure that you did get either bolts or the stock bolts fit or else you're gonna have an issue so we lucked out and these thread in perfectly but uh, that could have been another huge delay so here we are a couple hours later FedEx finally showed up with the brackets so what we have to do now is we have to take out the little uh, bolts that came in so we can attach the slider rails onto it and then we can attach that to the seat so what we have here is we have the passenger side mount you can tell by the angles up here for the bolts as well as right here this is where the new uh, or the seatbelt latch will attach to right here we bolt it in right here and then we have to take these out right here which will let the sliders get on here and then we can bolt the seat onto that and then we can put them in the car so now that we have the whole sliding bracket assembly assembled now we're going to put it on the bottom of the seat So the next thing is to put back in the uh, safety belt clip, which is going to go right here. So unfortunately I have to go to work now. Um, we'll continue with the install of these seats when I get back from work. It'll be dark, but we're still going to do it. So I'll catch you guys in a couple hours. What's going on? We are back. Sorry about that. I had to work. Now we're going to put in the passenger side seat and since we practice on the, the driver's side, getting the passenger side in will be a lot easier and we can go into detail about how we get that seat in to help you guys out if you ever decide to switch seats in your Z. So let's go ahead, plop this stock, or it's not stock, the passenger seat in and get it bolted down. Okay, so this hole right down here, this is the closest bolt hole to the center console. This is the one that you really want to get first when you're bolting everything down because this is the most difficult one to get to and once this is done, then you're going to want to move on to the other one on the other side. So let's go ahead and get that one bolted. And the next one is to get this one right here, which is the closest to the actual outside of the car on the front side. So go ahead and get that bolt next. So now we're gonna move on to the back of the seat. And right here, yes, I do have the little safety belt clip out of the way, so it doesn't provide any pressure coming this way. And this is what it came with right here. So you wanna do the big washer, then the locking washer, and then the nut. Same process on the other one. And there we go, both seats are in. Looking way better than the old seats with that crusty leather on them. And these seats are much better quality, lighter, and they sit a lot lower and have a lot more bolstering, especially right here on the sides. Guys, these are the Cypher Auto seats. They're finally in, and man, are they comfortable. Oh yeah, so I don't know if you guys remember how little headroom I have or had, but now that's no longer a problem. I can get a helmet in here. We can take this thing to the drag races. We can take it on a track day and we'll be good.
All right, another problem fixed with the car. So I just got home after driving the Z with these seats. They're absolutely amazing. This car is getting better and better every single time I do something to it. And this car is already great. I can't wait to see what happens with this car in the future. And it's just an amazing feeling to have this car, guys. I still am so excited about it. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.